Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB3689 sunglasses. Ray-Ban calls these a sophisticated remake of the original Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses. And the model number of those was RB3025. And here we can see they both look very, very similar, almost identical from the front. So right now I'm wearing the sophisticated remake sunglasses. So I'll give you guys a look of how these look on my face. And now we pop on the original Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses so you guys can see how these look and clearly you guys saw the big difference here wait you guys didn't see the difference well that's because it's actually pretty small it actually has to do with the temples the new sophisticated ones have these flat temples and the original have cylindrical temples so we pop on the uh, new style here where we can see they had those flat temples and then let me pop on the original that have those cylindrical temples so that is basically the only styling difference between these two sunglasses as far as dimensions go both have the exact same lens size and bridge width which is 58 millimeter lenses and a 14 millimeter bridge. So again, here are the originals. And then here are the uh, remake here, which we can see look absolutely identical. So there's basically no difference between these two sunglasses other than the temples. But of course, temples are very important on a pair of sunglasses. And what's really nice about this new style with the flat temples is they're actually much stronger than the original. So here, if I bend it a little bit, we can see it's really not going anywhere. It's very firm and very solid. So they're not going to break very easily. Where here on the original sunglasses with their cylindrical styling and being very, very small and delicate, they're not going to be nearly as durable as the newly remade RB3689. So this pair of sunglasses is great for those of you who love the classic aviator styling But unfortunately are afraid that you're going to break them because they are so delicate This style definitely might be for you with the thicker more durable temples Both these sunglasses are made in Italy and they sit here in the inner right temple of again both these two sunglasses And like I said, they look absolutely identical to each other The only difference here is the temples now I've already reviewed the original Ray-Ban Wayfarer Z4 So I'm not going to go extremely in depth in this video, but for those of you guys who who haven't seen that original review, I'm still going to go over the basic features of the sunglasses. So they have all glass lenses that block 100% UVA and UVB rays. And like I said, they're all glass, so the optical clarity is very good. And that's also going to make them very scratch resistant. They also have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the sunglasses for authentication purposes. Because they have the flat bridges here, they actually have Ray-Ban etched here on the outside temples. And again, that's only found on this new pair, not on the original. As far as hinge quality goes, these feel very, very nice when open up and when closing them. Definitely feel better than the originals. And they also have fully adjustable nose rests. And through these nose rests, we can see an etched RB logo in the middle of the nose rest through the plastic, which is also really nice to see. They also have this really beautiful acetate temple tips which look really good and feel very good on face as well. They also have a etching here on the top bridge. If you bought your pair in 2019 or newer, they say Ray-Ban made in Italy etched on the top bar and then here underneath that top bar, they actually say Ray-Ban 5814 which stands for the lens size and the bridge width of the sunglasses. Now as far as coverage from sun goes, these offer very good coverage because they have pilot shaped lenses which wrap around the eyes offering again very good coverage. So here up top we can see there really isn't a big gap to the sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the side again there really isn't a big gap to the sunlight in protected. So these are going to definitely protect your eyes from direct sun coming into them. Now as far as pricing goes, these are going to run you around $150 but usually you can pick them up a little bit cheaper on Amazon. On, so I will leave a link description down below where you guys check out this exact pair of sunglasses on Amazon for around $135. And I think you definitely can't go wrong with this pair of sunglasses for that money. Like I said, they are a more durable version of the original Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses. And I love the style of the original Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses. So I'll actually pop those on one last time to show you guys the difference or the lack of difference here. Uh, so here again, we have the Ray-Ban Aviators and these look really good with their gold frames. But I'm really glad that Ray-Ban produced a pair of Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses that are more durable because these originals are going to be just a little bit flimsy and not built quite as strong so if you sit on them or if you drop them they might bend we're here on the new style they're going to be much more durable than the original they're going to feel way more like a pair of randolph sunglasses again than the original because they're going to last you a lot longer well, that's all i got for guys in this video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to give me a big thumbs up below and of course make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time about a brand new video just like this one to my youtube channel again thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.